how to use a rec and rec. Today we are talking about how to use a rec and rec. Did you use a rec and rec last year? Turn and tell an elbow partner how you used it. What is a rec and rec? The rec and rec is a math tool. First, we'll use it for counting and seeing number groups. Then, we'll use it for adding and subtracting. Give a thumbs up if you said something like that with your partner. We'll use two types or sizes of rec and recs in our classroom. One size has two bars of beads. The other size has ten bars of beads. Why do you think we need both types of rec and recs in our classroom? Think about it. I'll ask you a little bit later on today. Today's focus for learning is how to use a rec and rack and show an amount on a rec and rack. We'll review how to use a rec and rack by starting with just one row of beads. When you put a rec and rack in front of you, push all the beads to the right. This is called the resting position. I'm going to click on this picture and go to an online rec and rack. Now, we're ready to make some observations. How many beads are red? When we count, I can touch each bead and say its number name. One, two, three, four, five. There are five red beads. How many beads are white? Again, I can touch and count. One, two, three, four, five. When I'm done with the learning activity, I move all the beads back to the resting position. If I want to show six beads, I could push one bead at a time to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six beads. Another way you could count to six is before I touch, I look. I know there are five red beads. I could push all the red beads over at one time, say the number five, and keep counting. Six. I now have the same six beads. Great job. Give your neighbor a high five. We'll do some more work with Rec and Rex tomorrow.